What's up? There you go. First, Santos. First word the world. Hola, Carlos. What's up? All right, there. It's two different countries touching. Here comes our friend, the border, the border, the border patrol. patrol. Now, would they be something. alarmed that we're out here? They might think that we're passing something through the fence. Here's New Mexico, here's Old Mexico, yeah. here's First World, here's Third World. Yeah, sure. All separated by a fence. Hola. Hola. Look at this, uh, two tor it's like we're both in prison. That's what's so interesting. And it's kind of funny as a citizen right now having Border Patrol approaching us. And I'm almost nervous myself. Yeah. I'm breaking the law by just wanting to say hello. What's your name, bud? Mario. Mario. Okay. What's your name? Carlos? My name is yeah. Greg. What's your name? Greg. Gregorio. Alejandro. What city is this? So this is part of Juarez. Which country would you rather live in, Mexico or America? He said he'd like to live in the United States. Why? So he said we're poor. Por qué? Por qué preferirían vivir? Porque aquí hay mucha crisis. Aquí matan mucho. So there's an economic crisis in Mexico, and he said that uh, they, they kill a lot of people. Nos agarran, suben a un carro de esos, nos tapa la boca. He said, what they'll do is they'll pick you up in a big white. Uh, SUV like the one we're driving, and they'll cover your mouth and they'll take you away. He asked me if there's killers over here. Where else can you see the richest country in the world jutted against one of the poorest neighborhoods in the world, separated by a fence? It's, it's fascinating. I'm looking into a different world. Do a lot of your family or friends try to cross over the border illegally? Why do they cross over? To be over here? Ah, to work. You always hear about it as a loss of jobs. And I always have a problem with that argument because the jobs you're taking really are jobs that people don't want. Yeah really shut off the border and expelled everybody from the country that wasn't here legally. It would kill our, our ag industry, which would kill our farmers, and it would kill all the processing jobs. And once they come over, do they want to come back home or do they want to stay? Quieren quedarse acá o quieren regresar? Acá, allá para siempre. So they want to stay on this side forever. You know, if the border were open, I think a lot of them would just come and go. And come up here and work for a year or two, go back, come back and work some more. But what happens when you fortify the border like we have now? You know, some people are going back every two years, and now, you know what I'm hearing is people just don't go back. Because every time you have to risk coming across yeah. each time. It's tough. On one hand, you want to put in place policies for a good, strong border. You know, when you go out and talk to your constituents and they're scared, you, know, you want to help them too. But on the other hand, you want to be sympathetic to just people that are coming here. You know, look to help people that want to lose a job and want to feed their families. What do you kids want to be when you grow up? Policía. He says he wants to be a cop. Yo quiero ser abogado. He wants to be a lawyer. Yo quiero ser licenciado. He wants to be a lawyer. That's lucky. Pero te ingrando todo ti. Lucky. They like your dog. They say it's really big and cute. Lucky's at the border. Spreading love. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, lucky. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the call of Lucky. Anyone naturally wants to leave their home. It's just luck of the draw, what side of the fence we are born on.